Hey guys, it's Kristen and Ronnie from Detecting Adventure, and today we're going to talk to you about the ugly box. So this is what you're going to get when you order an ugly box, minus the tank, which a Tupperware works great, plastic or glass, um, batteries, and the items that you want to clean. All the rest of this stuff is what's going to come inside your kit. So this is where you're going to hook your 9 volt battery up, right here. Now, your 6-volt battery pack, of course, we're going to have to put the, the um, one and a half AA batteries in here. Important to get the polarity correct, plus, minus, minus, plus. Then we are going to plug this into the 6-volt connector right here clearly says six volt clearly says nine volt now the six volt will operate the accessories the thunder and the thrasher so when we're ready to use them we would plug that into there and press this button which will activate the thunder or the thrasher for the electrolysis unit this is the on off button but first let me show you how to connect the leads. Open up your little bag. This has your jumper wires. Put that over here. Let's get these disconnected here, all tangled up. Nice. Nice, nice. All right. Colors don't matter. You don't have to be specific on the colors, but it's very important and when you're, when you're running a single 9-volt battery that you connect each side. You want to short this out. Okay, so you're going to put these. Okay. Now you see there's no voltage, but when we connect these leads this is essential to the operation of the machine if this is not done the machine will not work we take the carbon catalyst we hook up one end to the carbon catalyst The other end we hook to the catalyst side. The remaining lead connects to the coin side, which also can be your artifact. Now, when connecting to your coin, here we have a coin, as you can see, it's pretty crudded up, uh, just basic uh, oxidation here. We want to make sure that we have a connection to the metal. So we can just scratch that a little bit, clip it down. This is the setup, and now we're ready to mix the solution. Now we're going to mix the brine into the water. It's about a teaspoon per cup of water. I don't have a cup of water, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in here. It doesn't have to be exact. You can eyeball it. Okay, the next thing we could do is stir it up. Um, we'll show you a little way to cheat on that. Instead of sticking your finger in there and turn it, we can use the thunder. Easily plug the thunder into the box. And then we could take this, stick it in the water, turn it on. Just start around. Or if you wanted to, you can just start with your finger. This is just a cool way of doing it. Shut your thunder off. Okay, let's unplug it. Place it out here. Now what we need to do is put our items in the tank. Our catalyst into the water. The coin that we want to clean 
in the water. Now to activate the machine, we need to turn it on with the blue button. As you can see here, we have a voltage. Right now it's running about 7.6. This is a 9 volt battery. It may have some time use on it. So um, again, your voltage may vary depending on your battery that you're using. Now we wait. If your item is heavily encrusted, you may choose to use your thunder attachment, which plugs in here. What you're going to do is just drop it in the tank and activate it by pressing this red button. You never want to let this go more than one minute at a time. Now, it can touch the object or it can just lay in a tank. It won't hurt the object at all. Now we're ready to use the thrasher. You plug the thrasher in. We shut, we shut, the, shut the power off. Take your coin out. We're going to turn the thrasher on. So just to recap, we added our batteries, we set up our box, we put brine mix in our water, in our tank, we used the thunder and the thrasher accessories, we cooked our coin, and now it's clean. <laughs>